hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate deep links or universal links in native ios application with swift so let's get started in case if you don't know what deep link or universal link is so suppose i have one web app i have my native ios app installed as well on the user's device now if the user clicks on a particular link on my web app i instead of opening the web app in the browser i want it to open my native ios app so that's what basically universal link or deep link is so let's get started so firstly you will have to create your own website i have created mine i am using next.js which is a framework of react.js but if you want you can use vanilla html css javascript as well the reason i am using next.js is because uh, vercel which is the creator of next.js they provide easy deployment free of cost like they have paid tier as well but just for this hobby project uh, they provide free tier that's why i'm using it you don't have to use next.js or react.js okay now uh, what i have done is that inside this uh, app folder i have created this folder called list inside that i have created this page.tsx so basically what this does is that i am telling uh, next.js that create a screen or create a uh, like a page slash so whatever is your my domain in, names right so suppose abc.com and if you go to slash list abc.com slash list it should show this page.tsx which is a react component so that's what this is and if i go to abc.com slash list in my uh, like whenever a user clicks on that particular link it should open my native ios app so that's the motto that's why i have created this list page but instead of list you can name it whatever you feel like you can also give query parameters or whatever just to keep things simple i am using it slash list so domain name slash list inside that i have created page.tsx and here you can see it is i'm just created one h1 tag so okay this is react uh, react js code ignore this but i have just created this h1 tag now the important thing is we have to create this apple app site association file to know to help apple understand that okay we want to link our app with this particular website now uh, to create this apple app site association you have to create a folder called dot well dash known now if you are using vanilla html css javascript you won't see this public folder okay in that case you have to create this dot well dash known inside the root of your project of your web project but if you see next.js if i keep it if i create it inside the root of my uh, web project like the dot well dash known folder it won't recognize it so that's why it tells you create it inside the public folder because uh, so suppose so this is the domain which i have deployed to my next ios uh, deep dash link dot versel dot app so this is the domain and if i go to slash list it displays my header now if i go to slash dot well dash known slash apple app site association even though the there is no content on this page if i go to this particular link here you can see it is downloading this apple app site association so this should work for you uh, once you deploy it to your own server if it is if this particular you are if you are hitting this particular url like whatever is your domain name slash dot well dash known slash apple app site association if it is not downloading that apple app site association file that means you have missed out something so you will have to troubleshoot so in my case i have to just create it inside dot well dash known apple app site association okay now here you can just copy paste this content <coughs> the only changes which you have to make is this this should be your team id all right this is my team id again this is wrong team id i don't want to show my team id that's why i have created this but this should be your proper team id in case if you don't know how to find your team id you can go to this particular url and it will help you guide on how to locate your team id it should be something like this okay dot whatever is the bundle identifier of your ios app so my bundle identifier of my ios app is this okay now when i want to open my ios app so here as you can see i have added slash list slash star so whenever the user goes to my domain name slash list it should open my app 
so here it is an array so if you want you can add multiple uh, urls as well but just for simplicity i have added one this is a comment you can add whatever you feel like. but this is important this is team id this is your app this entire thing is your bundle identifier ios app bundle identifier okay so that's it now just deploy your app uh, now coming back to ios uh, here you can see first go to sign in and capabilities uh, here you will have to select your team again i don't want to show my team that's why i have selected it as none but you will have to select your team now there is one thing which i want to tell you is uh, here we have to add associated domains right to add this you have to click on this plus capability and just search for associated now i have noticed one thing if you don't if you don't have a nine if you haven't paid apple 99 dollars this associated domain like if you try to search associated domain it won't show it to you uh, like this is what i faced so i had to take my friend's <laughs> apple account uh, who has already paid 99 dollars and then add this associated domain so you might face this issue maybe in the future by the time you watch it uh, this might not be the case but at least i face this issue so i think you have to pay 99 dollars to apple then if you see inside associated domains inside domains you have to add this app links so app links colon would be common for all then this is my domain right my next if you see this is my domain forget about the slash list uh, slash list we don't require that we just require amount uh, require our domain also if you see my domain does not have www dot it directly has this domain name in case if your domain has www so here it would be app links colon www dot whatever is your domain name but i don't have it so i can directly write app links colon whatever is my domain name then if you see my view controller uh, here i have done nothing i have just taken one label that's what i am displaying inside my view controller just to uh, show you that okay my app was launched when i click on this link now also if you want to track suppose if you have multiple uh, deep links inside your uh, app if you want to track the user came from which link so here you can uh, inside your seeing delegate you can override this method uh, continue user activity and with the help of this you can get this particular path but if, if you want you can get query parameters as well so something like components dot query items query all that kind of stuff so url dot query but here i just have this slash list path and here you can see whenever user comes from that particular url this will this method will get triggered if the user directly opens my app then this won't get triggered and with the help of this you can launch any kind of view controller whatever you feel like now i will quickly run my app and come back so here you can see uh, this is my app running and here i have not uh, because i have launched the app from xcode i have not launched it from a uh, from our web url it hasn't printed this path okay now what i'll do so here you can see it has only printed this one which i have added inside this view controller okay now what i'll do is i'll uh, minimize my app i'll go to notes and this is my url right for which i am uh, doing deep linking or universal link i'll click on this and here you can see it has launched my app and if you see it has also printed this particular path so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye